Let's open up and tour the all new 2022 Grand Design Solitude 373FB-R. Hello and good afternoon everybody. This is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter and it is my pleasure to show off this beautiful luxury fifth wheel with you guys today. We're gonna walk around the outside with the unit all closed up, explain some of the features, then we're gonna get on the roof and do the same thing. Then we'll go inside the unit with the unit all closed up, show you how practical would it be if you had to be parked on the side of the road to maybe catch some Z's, use the restroom, or maybe even cook a meal. How easily accessible is this RV when it is closed up? Then we're gonna take, open it all up together and give you a final look at this beautiful 2022 Solitude. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's rock and roll. So fully molded fiberglass front cap on here. I like how it's wrapped onto the side. That's very nice. This is the updated exterior for the 2022. As you can see on the front cap, it is now uh, gray. It used to be black. So it definitely looks really nice on here. It's got a frameless glass windows. You've got a really nice setup with the upgraded Moride rubber pin box on here. Your truck will absolutely love you on the highway. This really helps out with road shock. And definitely a good upgrade to have. You've got a good amount of storage here in the front. Also the ability, if you did want to, you could add in a generator. You also have a section right here where you get a battery upon your purchase. Uh, this is the ventilation system for it. This is also the button for the front cap lights. Six point level up hydraulic leveling system on here. It has the auto level feature as well. Fiberglass sidewalls, aluminum substructure, heated and enclosed True Four Seasons um, RV with a drop frame as well. Very nice. You got a 14 foot five awning on the front a 10 foot four awning on the back. This is just an, an incredible RV. Of course, uh, right here you got a 30 pound propane tank which you fill upon your purchase. Open this up. Got a nice little magnetic catch on the insulated slam latch baggage doors. Look at the pass through storage on this RV. It is phenomenal. Just really awesome. You can fit a ton of stuff in here. It does come with the road vac by Intervac Systems uh, internal and external vacuuming system, which is pretty sweet. This is the accessories bag for it. It also has a nice little uh, spray shower. So you guys can be able to hook that up outside, rinse the kids off, rinse your dogs off. Nice stuff. It also comes with tire pressure monitoring sensor. You have a 12 volt disconnect. This is the uh, satellite roof access. If you guys did want to put a uh, satellite dish on top of this, you could. Um, there's the section right there for the road vac by Intervac vacuuming system, an excellent feature to have. Um, 110 power, you also have cable TV and satellite outputs, on, off, and motion sensing LED lights. Really awesome on the insulated inch and a quarter thick slam latch baggage doors. Rock and roll. Another 110 port right here, there's that spot where I was mentioning for the spray port. Very nice. Guys, this is sweet. Dexter axles, Cree 3000 suspension system, Cooper H-rated tires, 17.5 aluminum rim upgrade with the tire pressure monitoring system. That is a sweet setup, very cool. So this has uh, two slides on this side. There is a front slide for the front bath, the 373FB-R. FB stands for a front bath. And then the dash R um, is the upgraded 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. And of course it's got keto like locks. And then of course the Arctic Four Seasons uh, insulation. This is a very well insulated RV. Coming around here, you've got a nice setup with the Rockford Fosgate sound system. This system will thump and it is a marine system. Very cool. Coming back here, you have upgraded LED lights on the top, bottom, and on the sides. You have a two inch receiver with the four way plug. You can put yourself a little luggage rack back there or maybe a uh, small trailer. You do have a pre-wire for the Furion backup camera and you have a nice access ladder to gain access to your fully walkable roof, which we're gonna go ahead and jump on. I've got one hand on the camera. The other hand is gonna be a ninja and try and climb up this uh, with one hand and without falling. So, in this a little bit further. I didn't fall, I'm a ninja, I'm a ninja. I'm dedicated to you guys. All right, not one, not two, but three. Coleman Mach 15K AC unit upgrade. You also have a sweet setup with the uh, Max air vent fans with the built-in rain sensors. That's a really sweet uh, feature to have. Uh, Weingar Omnidirectional Air 360 uh, antenna with uh, LTE capabilities as well. And then you also have a pre-wire set up for a solar panel if you guys wanted to add that as well. Very awesome. 12-year uh, warranty, TPO roof. Very nice. Let's come down here. Like this, like this. All right. Oh, okay. 
I didn't die. <laughs> All right, come up under here. Completely enclosed and insulated underbelly. Very nice. Of course, you got a full size spare tire. Awesome. On this side, you've got two more slides on this. Coming around here a little bit further. You have a section right here for a black tank flushing. There is your dumping system right there. 12 gallon DSI hot water heater, uh, 35,000 BTU furnace. This is a 50 amp service. This is the opposite side of your pass through storage and the access area to your uh, insulated convenience center. Everything's all properly labeled, easily located as far as winterizing, dry camping, sanitizing, flushing. I love that they put the little 110 power in here. You guys have uh, freezing temperatures, you guys can plug in your heated hose, prevent that from freezing, very nice. Um, outside spray port, operating your pump, whole house water filtration system, your uh, hot and, or your uh, dump, your low point water drains, I'm sorry. Black tank, gray tank, very nice. Of course that 50 amp cable is a little bulky, so they give you a nice easy reel, power corded reel on there that comes in extremely handy. And then the auto level feature right there for your six point, six point hydraulic auto level. Simply close this up, take and close that. Opposite side of your 30 pound propane tank, which we fill upon your purchase, as well as your regulator located right there. Guys, let's go inside and check out this beautiful RV. But wait, this has got hydraulic slides on this and a Schwintec slide system. And so part of these hydraulic slides is you gotta have a 12 volt battery hooked up um, to the unit. So the fact that it just came from Grand Design, of course it doesn't have one in it, which we include one upon your purchase, but I gotta take my buggy here with this uh, little battery setup I've got and bear with me for just a second because we gotta back up to it in order to open the slides. I appreciate y'all's uh, patience. Let's go ahead and jump into this RV. So, of course, coming up to the front door, you've got the uh, little handrail. You can open the lock like that. Very nice. Of course, it's got the key to like locks. You've got a nice little convenient little window up the front. This is not a friction hinge door, but I do like that Grand Design took and they, they removed that little plastic thing that used to be there and then they uh, switched it over and they've got that magnetic catch. So that's pretty sweet. This is a wonderful setup, guys. Uh, more ride entry step upgrade. This is the zero gravity uh, step above step. Pretty much can lift that thing with one pinky. It's got a built-in strut. I love that they add this in as well. It's pre-drilled and tapped. If you guys want to add in another uh, handle bar accessory, you guys could be able to do that. Maybe you're elderly, maybe you have bad knees, or maybe you just want additional confidence and peace of mind entering and exiting your RV. Very cool. You know, make sure your seal plate, your seal plate matches perfectly whenever you guys um, set up for your campsite so your door doesn't have any issues with opening and closing. And then, now we go ahead and go inside of this beautiful RV. Close this door give you a first look. Of course, the lights are off right now, so we'll go ahead and turn on those lights as well here in a second. But looking back here, you can see that the dual slides um, that are closed, these are the two hydraulic slides, pretty much do not give you any access to here if you had to be parked on the back of the roads or anything. But you do have full access to your residential refrigerator. You have a ton of room in here actually to move around, which is one of the rare things you see in an RV that's you know all closed up. You got a convenient little section right here where if you did need to stop, you know, put some shoes on or even, you know, go along the lines of changing, you know, you could do that. And man, right there, plenty of room to move around. You've got a beautiful half bath in here, just phenomenal. So that's sweet. And coming up here, other than you having to probably shimmy up onto that bed to catch some Z's with the unit closed, you guys can pretty much access this RV uh, with everything closed up. You could still be able to get across there to be able to use the restroom if you really needed to, and then even set it up if you had to. I mean, you could take a shower, make it work with this unit all closed up. Very cool. I also like this as well because one, of course, Grand Design, they've got the touch screen, LCI Lippert components, really nice, but I'll be honest with you, some people love it, some people absolutely hate the uh, operation features on this. So what we're gonna go ahead and do um, right here, we're going to use the press the push buttons. Simply go right here. We'll go ahead and turn on our lights, which is going to be 
Ah, there's some right here. So there's some backlighting. We'll hit those ones. Got some backlighting in. Press this in right here. Let's see. And it's blue. I turned it off. I'm gonna turn it back on and reset it. All right. And then come on over here. We take and we turn this on. This is gonna charge it or it's gonna boot up for us. You've got the two control uh, thermostats for your two ACs. Uh, and then of course you've got the button for your max air vent fan to be able to open and close that as well. You've got a section right here for your uh, inverter to be able to run your refrigerator while you're running down the road. The WineGuard Gateway 360. So you've got the antenna to find uh, quick channels which is really sweet, but it also has the LTE capabilities, uh, Wi-Fi router, and of GPS capabilities as well. So you guys can be able to go to your cell service provider, activate a line, take that little SIM chip, put that inside of your uh, router, and be able to have this as a rolling personal hotspot, or you guys can take existing signals and take those and boost them. So very cool, I like that quite a bit. Um, coming down here, you're gonna see, you've got a section right here for additional storage. Come up to here, simply press to turn on all of the lights, very nice and now as you can see you can see much better in here and it is still even with the unit all closed up it's just super beautiful grand design puts out a good product i gotta admit that that definitely it's a good build it's hot outside i've had this thing turned on for about 10 minutes even with the unit closed up and i've got one ac in the front going it's very comfortable in here i'd have to say it's easily 71 72 degrees so next Slide one in, slide one out. Slide one is going to be your hydraulic slides, and that's one of the reasons why I hooked up the battery on the front, because that ties in with your system. Without the battery, if you press slide out, your lights would kind of flicker, and basically it's doing a drop in voltage. It's just trying to power everything else while I push out your slides. So make sure you guys have your battery hooked up. If you guys experience that issue, then uh, definitely check you know, your battery. So let's go ahead and press slide out. So the first slide that will slide out is the opposite door side. It starts and then it'll stop and then your door side slide catches and it go ahead and uh, pushes itself out. Once this gets to its fullest extent, it's actually gonna go ahead and start pushing out the opposite side, as you can see, because they're both tied together. Like so. Quick, convenient, very durable. Hydraulics is definitely a very a strong um, this type of mechanism to be using in an RV. And then right here, slide two in and slide two out. We're gonna press out, so that is your bedroom um, king size bed upgrade slide. So that's gonna go ahead and slide out. Now this is a Schwinn, a Schwinn Tech slide system. I get, I get going guys, I, I appreciate your support. This is a Schwinn Tech slide system. Once it gets at its fullest extent, you're gonna hear the motor kind of wind down. That lets you know that it's at its fullest extent, so make sure that to not hold it too long. You don't ever want to damage the, the motor. So right there, just like that. And then we have slide three. So slide three is going to be your door side, um, front bedroom, uh, bathroom slide. So we go ahead and press out on that, and you're gonna notice the bathroom slide uh, vanity is sliding out right now. Of course, at the end of the tour in here, I'll go ahead and open up the awnings as well and give you a final look of the unit over, uh, overall outside. But now we can see just an absolutely, I gotta take a nice pan of this. Well lit, LED lighting, just, just a really nice. So they, they say the interior decor on this is called cotton. Um, I guess that's more along the lines to the furniture portion of it because I can't really tie anything else in as far as it looking like cotton. So um, yeah, the interior decor is cotton. You have a, a beautiful setup right here with a nice little, uh, I guess you could say it's a slash mudroom. You can be able to sit there, put your shoes on, uh, put your jacket up, you know, getting ready for work or something in the morning. It's a nice little area to sit down. I really like that. Um, you've got a table and chair set up as well with additional leaf extension for entertaining the friends and family. You've got nice privacy blackout curtains. Of course, your windows are at a 20% tent level, so it's easy for you to see out, but it's difficult for somebody to see in. Coming around here, I like the balances with all of the updated balances covering the, the windows. Very nice. Thomas Paine Collection theater style seating. This is really nice. You've got built-in convenience lights. If you guys are moving around at night, it's got power open, power close. You got built-in heat, built-in massage with variable speed settings. You also have a little USB charging port as well. Simply list this up. You usually keep your remotes and stuff in here, keep you a cup. 
awesome. Coming around here, this is a hideaway sofa. This will fold out into a bed to sleep additional friends and family. I've included a link in the top left corner. That's a 360 tour. It gives you a much better perspective to literally digitally walk around in this RV and open up specific things to give you a much better feel on how this RV is laid out. You have USB charging centers here on the sides as well as a uh, 110 power. Very nice. Um, hardwood cabinetry. They got the nice setup with the metal handles as well very sturdy hidden hinges just beautiful beautiful you got little sections right here for your lightings your all your back lightings pendant lightings things like that um, of course the frameless glass windows comes in extremely handy and then open this up this is the access for your Rockford Fosgate sound system AM FM Bluetooth you got multi-zone selection, um, USB charging, you can even hook up an HDMI and play your games, and then press this button right here for TV up, and here she goes. I did a little video on a North Point the other day and kind of made a nice little montage opener and had this kind of panning up from the fireplace, and it was it looked pretty cool. <laughs> We like to make videos for you guys to show off these, these cool RVs. TCL flat screen TV. This is really, really awesome. It also has the Roku settings, so you guys have internet. You guys can have your Netflix, Hulu, Prime, all that good stuff. Interflame 5000 BTU fireplace. This is a really nice setup as well because, guys, if you think about it, one, if you're at the campsite, one, you've already paid for the campsite and the electric is included. If it's in freezing or cold temperatures out there, of course, you're going to need to heat up your, your unit. Rather than using your propane, Use your guys' uh, um, use your fireplace to kind of help do that. And this this is a really nice setup on here. You guys can also turn off the light in the summertime or turn off the heat and just have the light going. So if you guys want to maybe set the mood to some Barry White, oh, you guys can do yeah. that. Very awesome. Open this up. You've got additional section right here. You guys can hook up any of uh, your little gaming systems or things like that with another 110 power source up here. Solid surface countertops, a nice large island for plenty of countertop prep space. I love this nice chef style faucet. Very cool, lift this up. You've got a two piece stainless steel uh, sink insert as well. It is also dishwasher prepped, which is really sweet. So they can take and actually take out one of these uh, sections of, actually it's gonna be right here. They'll probably end up taking out these cabinets and then your dishwasher would end up sitting into there, if I'm not mistaken. So very cool. You also have a little trash bin under there as well. Two more 110 power sources, very nice. Insignia four burner residential style cooktop with a 3.7 cubic foot oven. The thing is massive. You guys hit this little button, there's your oven light. You can fit your whole turkey in there. Beautiful. Open this up, nice uh, uh, microwave insignia. I love an RV that has good pantry storage, and not only good pantry storage, but modular shelves. I love that Grand Design does not secure those shelves, so depending on how your camping lifestyle is, you guys can be able to keep that fully stocked. Plenty of drawers, stainless steel ball bearing drawer glides. Very awesome. Beautiful 18 cubic foot residential style refrigerator by Samsung with the built-in ice maker. These are your catches right here to prevent your doors from opening while you're in transport. Open that up, you've got additional storage. In the 360 tour, you guys can see this much better. So I'll definitely uh, post that in the bottom section below. I like this uh, in the beginning. You guys can be able to have this half bath in here. This is a nice porcelain toilet, nice vanity and a medicine cabinet. You also have the nice max air vent fan with the built-in rain sensor. That is sweet. I love it. Intervac system, vacuuming system right here. That's where the section where your hose will hook up and then simply sweep your debris up to here. Kick this up. The rest of its history. They got a convenient little section down here for shoe storage. I like that. And then coming up into here, see a nice king size mattress. This looks beautiful. You got 110 and USB charging ports on both sides. Um, additional little sections right here to be able to put on shoes and stuff in the morning. I like that quite a bit. You can even lift it up. You've got additional storage below. Lift this section right here. More storage. A little tape on there. More drawer storage. Solid steel ball bearing drawer glides. You've got the flat screen Logix TV. Of course, more privacy curtains. There's your other uh, third AC uh, thermostat. Uh, barn style pocket door. Very nice. 
simply lift this up like so. You've got additional storage features up under here. You've got the system for your tire pressure monitoring system. You also have the manuals for all of your appliances. And then a convenient little section right here. I love this. Pull this out in the morning. You guys can be able to put your shoes on. Very handy. Take and close this. It is strut assisted. Coming up into here, I like good sized bathrooms, especially in an RV. And this one has definitely got it. Porcelain toilet, very nice. You got a his and hers vanity. It's absolutely beautiful. Coming around here, I love that they set you up with this updated frontline shower insert. It is a one piece residential shower insert. That's pretty sweet as far as uh, not having to deal with leaks or seams. And then of course this updated shower sprayer is just phenomenal. I need to put a video up of this thing actually in operation and let you guys uh, see that. Uh, come up into here, got another little section right here for, uh, to protect your door from swinging open while you're transport. Open this up. You've got more storage in here, a nice large closet, and plenty of room for a stackable washer and dryer. Very awesome. Right here, more cabinet storage. You also have some nice drawers. Very. I love it. Ladies and gents, this is just a brief overview of this RV. I may have missed something. This is one of the reasons why I express that we include an RV training class for all new and used purchases here at our Gasville location. So that comes in extremely handy. So whenever the, guy, the day you guys come to pick this unit up, you guys get your training class and then we will actually take and um, put you on our private orientation campground. This comes in really handy because you know you guys get your training class and then you guys get a free camp say on the campground and then we'll even hook you guys up with an RV starter kit. Last but not least, let's go ahead and open up your awnings. We've got another RV that just arrived. As you can see, it's a, a nice bullet. Open this up. You can see the awning extension and retraction. We'll go ahead and press on the extension first. You can see it start to go out. This is the larger of the one. As you can see, it's brand new. Press that out. Now at its fullest extent, you're gonna see a flap that folds down. Um, this lets you know that it's at the, uh, the furthest point of opening. If you were to continue to press that button, it would basically roll up on itself and you could potentially damage your awning. I like as well that they include the nice little LED light upgrade. You guys can actually pitch that at night depending on how you guys want the light to be. And then you have this nice uh, 10 foot four awning on the back. We'll go ahead and extend this as far as I can extend it so we don't end up hitting that bullet. We've parked a little too close. But this will be the same process. You simply open this up and you will see the lights do that. As soon as I open it up, I'll let you guys see it and I'm gonna go ahead and close. See, I've got somebody else opening up one of the slides. So I'm gonna go ahead and close up this slide or this awning so this slide can open up. I'll go ahead and do that just like so. Now we'll give you a final overlook. All right, she looks beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate your time, your patience, and the opportunity to do business together. I ask that you please like, subscribe, comment, and share. We hope to see you soon. Happy camping.